Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, um, and welcome to another new series. Uh, this one's going to be more of a short format type of series, um, with some collages, and if that's what you call it, um, mashups, whatever, you know, where you take just little snippets and run it with some music and stuff. Not as much time-lapsing. I'm sure there will be some time-lapses in there, but um, we're going to keep these episodes around like five, six minutes, um, and this one's going to run alongside the um, Dairy Farmers Challenge series and I'll keep going on Ashton Corners. Um, I did want to kind of implement something where I could kind of implement my, my voice and do some uh, voiceovers um, because that's kind of where I want to take the channel a little bit. Uh, I'm going to keep the time lapse because that's where, you know, that's where the channel has began and I enjoy doing those. But, so anyway, I'm going to, we're going to do a little, uh, quick, um, farm tour here. So, uh, starting out, we got our little Kubota sidekick, um, as you'll see, we have another farm over there that we uh, lease out um, some barn space from from the uh, couple that lives there in that house. Uh, but we got our Kubota uh, sidekick here that, you know, kind of just different jobs. Uh, grabbing eggs from the chickens here that you can see um, and taking them over to the farm shop that we have here that we sell. Or, our honey and uh, our produce and um, you know our eggs and stuff like that so got our eggs or, or we got our chickens um, we have 15 chickens here uh, we'll produce some eggs for us for the farm shop heading over here we have our old barn here this is actually recording, I'm actually recording this after the first episode that I recorded where we did some wheat harvest. So the honeybee 30 foot uh, draper head is actually out still connected to our work truck. Um, it's just a Chevy uh, 3500 diesel um, that has a uh, removable fill right uh, diesel tank in the back to fill up our machines in the field if they need it um, we have a bunker here that we don't use anymore um, mostly just going to be storing silage bales in there that are wrapped we probably won't be doing any chopping um, if we do decide to do some chopping it will be some hired in work because um, we don't actually own a chopper or any of the stuff um, to haul the chaff so here's our uh, Anderson bale wrapper for silage bales, our um, feeder wagon here, because we have some beef cattle out there that we um, raise to also supply the farm store. Um, in here, uh, we'll be keeping some hay bales and straw bales. Um, we got our L330 skid steer um, with the, the manure fork, um, but we also use that to lower, to handle bales sometimes too, with the teeth on the bottom. We got our Vermeer rake. We have our New Holland roll belt uh, round baler, silage special, um, and our Vermeer uh, straw blower. Right here is our everyday uh, truck. Does some field work for, or does does some work for us um, sometimes. Uh, we might be using this to haul some straw and hay bales and stuff. Um, it's an all-terrain uh, GMC Duramax. As in my. Uh, Real life buddy would like to call it. It's uh, it's a bro diesel. So 
Here is our uh, Challenger MT555D. It's our loader tractor. Um, does all of the uh, mixer wagon loading uh, when we gotta do some feed. Um, I just had it out in the field doing some mowing and tedding. Uh, that's why it's a little dirty. Uh, just kind of workhorse tractor that does a lot of different jobs around the farm. Um, gonna put a lot of hours on that. Here's our fuel tank um, for off-road diesel. And here we got our uh, big dog. It's our MT845. Um, runs around 400 horsepower. Um, Cat Challenger. Uh, here we got our Kinsey um, Argo Wagon. Our eight row corn head. Our sprayer. Um, and our feeder. Uh, wagon tractor that does some hay work as well. It's connected to this sprayer right now because we just had to get it out of the way. And then here we have our combine, the CR9070. Uh, it's a New Holland. Um, it was fun running it when we were just doing some wheat harvest there. Heading over here we have our liquid fertilizer tank. Rock picker, got a flat uh, deck trailer for hauling anything we need, taking uh, or picking up seed and, and fertilizer and different things from uh, the seed dealer, um, hay bales, straw bales, all that stuff. Here we got some bees. Um, never done bees before in the game yet, so got some bees that we're gonna. Uh, used to supply some honey to the farm store and here's kind of our uh, seed commodity storage type thing um, we have our seed tender here we have our probe boxes of seed and we have a uh, manitou forklift that we kind of keep in here just to move around different stuff and uh, you know load things up and load our seeders and whatnot here we got our roller for rolling our beans. Uh, we have our mock till di uh, speed disc. Um, here we got our John Deere uh, chisel plow. Um, I don't know why it leans like that, but it is what it is. Uh, here we got our two West Steel Roscoe older bins. Um, we don't store a lot of grain, uh, mostly just corn. Beans will just be selling off right away. We got our James Way uh, slurry liquid manure spreader and our H&S uh, side slinger. got our cows in the pasture and our barn we got some Laley uh, milker robots in there we used to do uh, milk at one point uh, milker cows at one point but we kind of transitioned away from that uh, as the farms kind of went more arable and we just use our pasture space um, in the barn for beef cows now um, so we got our uh, liquid manure pump right there and our solid manure pump um, that we when we scrape the alleys we kind of just push it here and then it'll load it up and into our manure spreader or wherever we want it looking like this video is going to be a little bit longer than I'd liked, but uh, once we get it going, we'll be, uh, be doing some more uh, jumping around and keeping it short. So here's our farm shop. Um, got a few customers in there, it looks like, right now. Uh, so let's jump over to the other farm, and I will see you there in a second. 
just down the road here. Probably just 200 yards or so is the uh, farm that we lease. Just pull in here. We just lease the bin space pretty much. Or not the bin space, the barn space pretty much. Because um, we don't have a lot of room on our farm. So in here we got our uh, planter, seeder, fertilizer, tractor. Uh, it's an MT7 series, uh, 7B series, uh, 300 horse, bow. Got our case uh, drill. Got our Kinsey 16 row planner, I believe. Um, our disc vine. Our tether. That we just got some work with. Come around back because we got a power washer here. And our semi trucks. Two older Mack trucks with um, single hopper grain trailers. One's a Mauer and one's a Wilson. Um, and then we got our flatbed truck or er, uh, trailer here that we will use for loading hay and all that stuff too. Um, so that's about it. Um, I need to get a fuel tank over here. Uh, probably find a find one online somewhere and get it over here and fill it with some on-road diesel that we can use. But yeah, for that, that's about it for the uh, farm tour. Um, thanks for watching, guys, and I hope you enjoy this second series that we're going to be running. Um, just kind of want to keep some diversity in the channel and. Uh, not kind of overdo myself on one series like I did with the uh, Midwest Dairy series. Um, but yeah, so we'll be back with another video um, in the next few days and uh, we'll see you later. Thanks guys.